Hello my friends, welcome to day 8 of my December Daily 2015. Uh, this is my spread for today, it's a two page spread. Um, for today I'm working with um, these papers, these are from the Crepe Paper Peppermint Collection, it's an older collection, I think it's like 2012 or 2013 if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's an older collection, I don't have it in front of me. So I took this wood grain paper and I took this other paper which has a very, really pretty green and red pattern on it and I'm, I'm sticking both of them together and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to create the, um, the look of a double sided paper is what I'm doing uh, because I needed a double sided paper for what I'm doing. Now I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to realize that this piece that I cut up is too small for what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my paper and I'm going to cut a bigger um, a bigger piece. <laughs> so um, I'm going to keep this one because I'm going to use this one. Um, I will use this one in my next um, my next spread. But I'm going to cut up the paper again and I'm going to use and I'm going to make sure I measure this time before just cutting um, just cutting uh, randomly. <laughs> so I'm just putting lots of tape down there, ATG tape. Um, to make sure that it sticks really well and again this is just to create that look of um, double-sided paper because I don't have any double-sided paper in my Christmas stash um, at least not in these colors so um, I'm taking a red piece of paper from that same uh, collection and I am going to map my photos in red um, and what I'm what I'm scrapbooking or what I'm putting in my, in my December daily today um, is for, for this spread that I'm going to create right now, I'm going to do a little of, um, it's called around a typical night around our house. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I went around the house um, at night <laughs> and I took just um, pictures of what everyone was doing. So um, so just to kind of share what, what, you know, our nightly routine is. And then I do journal a lot about it, um, about what everyone kind of does. And then, um, so I took a picture. I didn't take a picture of myself, <laughs> but I took a picture of my boys, my mom. And then I went over to my boyfriend's house and took a picture of him. <laughs> and, um, and uh, yeah, so just basically to, to show what we kind of do um, at night and how everyone kind of winds down and gets ready for bed. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of off camera here. I'm sorry, but um, I'm using, um, I folded everything up as you can see, and I have the wood grain paper um, sticking out. So the wood grain paper is what you're going to see before you open up the little booklet. Now I did take a piece of gold glitter tape and I placed it along the bottom of that and then I'm taking some of this ribbon and I am going to place that on top. And then I'm going to place these little houses which these little houses are from a little puffy sticker pack that I have so they are little puffy stickers and they're super cute and I've been wanting to use them because they're so adorable. So um, I did use them um, on this and uh, so I just, this, the little white ribbon was kind of to, um, I guess, symbolize snow, <laughs> even though we have no snow, but it's okay. And then I'm going to stick my pictures in there, um, one in each little area. So um, there's my son, my younger son, my oldest son, then my mom, and then my boyfriend. So they're all in there in a little booklet that I created. And then I glued these two edges together to kind of make it um, into a little booklet. Because I, if I would have had more pictures, I could have left that and not glued that. And then I could have just made like a little accordion flip, little flip book thingy. But it, I didn't have any more pictures that I wanted to put there. So, um, so that's all there is. So I'm looking through this, um, this rub on pack and I don't find anything that I can use. There were little houses there, but I didn't, I already had enough houses. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing my journaling. I just typed up. Um, on my computer using Microsoft Word just typed up my journaling for each spot and then I'm gonna cut it up and um, and just place it where where it goes so I did that for all the pictures and I'm just showing you the last one so I just first just kind of place it on there to see how it looks and then I just start gluing and I'm starting gluing from the bottom up I find that I can space things out better when I glue from the bottom up because sometimes when you glue from the top down you kind of um, tend to stick things too close together and then it's not you know, by the time you get to the bottom, it's not evenly spaced out. <laughs> so, so yeah, so my little house um, book is done. And I'm going to take a piece of that same red paper that I used to map my photos. 
and I'm going to cut that cut it down to six by six so it can fit in my album and then I'm going to work on my little title for that page and I thought I was going to use these white puffy stickers um, that I love but um, it might what I wanted to write wasn't going to fit even though I end up changing it but um, it wasn't going to fit so I decided to change it up Let's see my night was not going to fit <laughs> I mean I could have pushed everything over to the left but um, I decided that I wanted to use um, gold thickers and you're gonna see what I mean um, yeah and those would have looked cute as well but but um, I'm, at this point I'm just trying to look around and see okay what do I do and then I took these these are the uh, dear Lizzie these are from the new dear Lizzie line the documentary line I love these and I may or may not have ordered three packs of these <laughs> so <laughs> so you know I can use them and it's okay um, so I figure I'll use two and then I'll pour to the other one so I'm just kidding <laughs> I plan on using them all um, so what I decide to do is I decide to write out at our house and then I'm gonna write out in little tile stickers um, a typical night so that it fits <laughs> and this fits and this would have fit with the white ones too so um, but this one was kind of spaced out a little better for me and I wanted to add some of these gold because I haven't used these gold stickers in this December daily yet and I love these and I knew I wanted to use these in my December daily so um, so I'm, and I'm using a lot of that gold glitter tape so I thought this was a, a good match to use with this um, to bring in those stickers and to match that gold glitter tape so there we go, I, I adhered everything down and what I did to the little tile stickers which are the ones I have to my left from Kaiser Craft is I just backed them on that wood grain paper each individual letter and then I just stuck them down and then I'm gonna make a slit in my uh, or a slice in my page protector I'm just putting in some some thick um, you know that little piece of cardboard and and that little booklet that I got in the mail to just put so that I don't slice the back of my page protector and then I just you saw me just put it in there I measured out where I wanted my line and then I am just slicing it open and I didn't press hard enough so it didn't slice all the way through <laughs> so you're gonna see me struggle with that and I did actually make a boo-boo so you're gonna see what I mean in just a second so I, I'm putting it in and after I and that kind of helps to put it in if you get a piece of, of something of paper of thicker paper and then you just kind of help it in it'll it'll go in a little bit smoother now this is where my problem occurs it doesn't go all the way in and the problem is that my booklet is uneven I kind of tried to show you there but it's too fast the back is a little bit lower than the front flap so I have to slice my page protector a little bit more and make it a thicker opening so um, I just slice a piece another piece off so that's what I do and I make a bigger hole and it's a significantly bigger hole it's not just a slice it's it's literally like a hole in my page protector <laughs> so I did that and then that slid in perfectly and then you can see that I could fold open my little my little flaps so um, that was it for that page I didn't do anything else to that um, and then this for this page I'm gonna uh, uh, what do you call it I'm gonna map my little photos on this uh, same red paper now um, these two pictures one is of my elf on the shelf he was sitting on our on the little train we have going around our tree the bottom of our tree he was sitting on that and the other picture is of um, I from just from my window from my car window I took a picture of the rain because it was raining here for like a week and a half non-stop it would rain every day and it was just horrible so it makes traffic horrible and it's just it's really it just makes you want to be home in bed so so yeah so <laughs> I just wanted to document that because it's December and it's not supposed to be raining like that but it's been raining crazy crazy here so um, I, I matted my photos on red I backed my number on one of those little silver papers that I have punched out the scallop papers and then I cut uh, with another circle punch a red circle in that same red paper and this green background was already on my in my album that's the background that belongs to the back of so the previous page they said since it was double-sided so and then 
And now that I'm thinking about it, I have well, but I don't have a whole sheet of this, of that double-sided paper. So what I did, what I did was I just cut a piece of vellum, um, just to kind of fit uh, half of the page. And then I'm lifting up the tags from the previous day so that I can staple it behind the tags so that the staples won't show um, in the back layout. So I just stapled the top and the bottom so I could staple that vellum on. And then I'm using the same gold glitter tape to bring in some of that gold and also to serve as a more adhesive for the vellum because I don't want to put adhesive behind the actual vellum because you know adhesive most of the time will show behind vellum. So I'm taking my little um, my little thickers, the same ones as Dear Lizzie, and I'm going to write, Rain, Rain, Go Away. And thank God it did go away. <laughs> After this day, um, it did. It, oh gosh, thank goodness, because it was really, really annoying. Um, so I will, <laughs> after I place down these letters, I will, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I will go back with my Scotch um, Quick Dry Adhesive in my Fine Line bottle, and I will adhere the letters because they do tend to come off because they're so thin. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Um, I hope you guys are having a great December, and I hope you guys are all uh, documenting your December memories. Uh, if you are so, if you are doing so, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear, or I'd love to see what you're doing. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye bye.